Edmonton women's shelters are asking the owner of Fluid Hair Salon to recognize the stark reality of spousal abuse after the salon released a controversial ad campaign. The ad in question features a woman with styled blonde hair and a black eye sitting in front of a well-dressed man in a suit holding a diamond necklace, apparently as a gift for the battered woman. In a media conference Tuesday, representatives of the Alberta Council of Women's Shelters and Windhouse, an ongoing project of Edmonton Women's Shelter, spoke out against the ad. Abuse and violence in family violence is an ongoing issue and the positive in this unfortunate situation is that we are speaking about and engaging with the issue of family violence. The ad, coming with the slogan, look good and all you do, was just a way to push the limits of art and advertising, said fluid hair owner Sarah Cameron. In a statement released on Facebook, Cameron said, quote, legitimately when creating the series as a group of strong women, we saw it as a great way to generate discussion and showcase power in hard situations. Not the opposite, which everyone is so quick to jump to. In no way was it to showcase that everything is fixed by a haircut and some beautiful makeup. For those that don't understand the photo, if you look closely, she's strong, not looking at him, not accepting the necklace. Our thought process goes so much more deeply than that. But again, everyone is entitled to their own interpretation. With that, if any survivors were upset on any level, I am professionally and personally sorry." Unquote. The salon is also offering future haircut proceeds to the Edmonton Women's Shelter if a customer mentions the ad. Coordinator for the Alberta Council of Women's Shelters, Jan Reimer, said that while an apology is good, the most positive aspect of this is raising awareness for domestic violence in the community. While the ad itself isn't something that we would, um, you know, greatly support, certainly raising the awareness about domestic violence is a good thing. While employees from Fluid Hair were unavailable to comment today, owner Sarah Cameron did say they weren't trying to attack anyone with the ad campaign. They were just trying to push limits. The question now becomes, did they push too far? For Sun News, I'm Matt Dykstra.